All right, kind of going back in time with this one a little bit. This is actually uh, a recording from September, so it's actually two months old at this point. I can't believe it's been that long. But I guess it just fell to the bottom of the editing pile and uh, has only resurfaced now. But um, I really wanted to include it because there are a few fives in Golden Pack that I've been interested in recently. Uh, ones that are just very, very awkward. And um, I think I uploaded one uh, not that long ago as a bonus clip because it was recorded too close to an update. So it, it was ended up being too easy in the end. I think that was Dart Frog. But I, I really would like to see five Dart Frogs. I would like to see five Secretary Birds, which is also very awkward. Obviously, its ability um, doesn't work too well when you've uh, not got very many summons at all. But the other one that I've had on my list, actually, quick pause there to say that was uh, Oscar I faced in the last battle, is Saiga Antelope. And <laughs> you can see here on turn five, I do the triple level up and I get three Antelopes. So... Um, I, I think that's the first time that's happened. I, I can't remember for sure. There's definitely been multiple times when I've had a, a triple, um, a, a duplicate, three duplicates uh, on turn five and then gone on to lose anyway. Um, I guess it just really depends on if you hit uh, all the other stuff that you need to get the five of a kind going. But here, this is a great start. So uh, I really just want to find uh, Waffle, uh, not Waffle, the other one, Lettuce, uh, and freeze Stoats because I can sell the Stoats next turn and hopefully hit uh, Sea Lion or Manatee or another Antelope. Although there are 11 uh, Tier 4s, so um, it's not quite a 1 in 10 when you sell the Stoat. And uh, we should be okay here. When you've got the triple Antelope, <laughs> you're just generating so many Trumpets. Uh, and when you're playing a Golden Mirror, there's not really any way this early in the game for the antelopes to get sniped. I guess the dart frog could maybe, but uh, since they're on five health, the dart frog's not gonna one-shot anything unless it's uh, level two. And we don't get anything from the stoats, but uh, not to worry, we do instead roll double sea lion. So we're gonna go with the sea lion sandwich and then have the banana on the sea lion at the front so we get an extra trigger from the uh, antelopes. So yeah, Golden Pack, the update isn't out yet as I record this. Uh, there are some changes coming to Golden. Um, we're going to get Tier 4 Cockatoo, which gives uh, slightly uh, fewer buffs. We're going to get Waffle that you can use on anything. So you'll get, um, you know, plus 4 health if you use the Waffle on a unit that isn't a bipet. Um, I'm trying to think what else they changed. I guess Egyptian Vulture got moved up to tier uh, five. Of course, since the update isn't out, I don't know for sure that all of these changes have actually gone through. Maybe we'll be surprised when it uh, when it launches. But um, definitely gonna be some interesting stuff to play with and maybe it will make some of these more uh, awkward uh, five of a kind challenges a little bit easier. So on to turn nine now, we get the octopus. So I think here I'm going to combine sea lions and then buy octopus. Not exactly sure what I'm looking for. Uh, okay, so I then roll the double antelope and we get the bird of paradise on the level up. So I think I'll save both the octopus and the bird for next turn. And then we can just um, say goodbye to the sea lions and then just proceed with a four squad and bird of paradise. This is pretty funny. You don't see this very often. An entire opposing team that had uh, eggplant so they push uh, one of the sea lions all the way to the front. Normally something that would be quite good against the uh, antelope, but uh, not when uh, none of the antelopes are actually in the back slot. And uh, yeah, their single trumpet just isn't gonna be uh, good enough there. So yeah, I think here I'm gonna sell both sea lions. It has been two months since this was recorded, so I can't remember for sure. There is also a banana in the, in the shop, so I could potentially put that on the Bird of Paradise and put it up front. Ah, okay, I'm gonna, um, instead of buying the Bird of Paradise now, I'm going to uh, stock up on the avocados and then we'll get the bird in next turn and uh, we'll take advantage of all that extra gold. Flycatcher here, but we do uh, only have the two summons with the, uh, the monkeys. And yeah, their Warthog doesn't have good enough stats to 
buff up the rest of their team. Still relatively close though. Uh, so we'll get rid of both Sea Lions and now bring in Bird of Paradise. And although it has uh, very low stats, I think I'm just going to play it up the front so that I still get all of the triggers from the uh, the antelopes when it faints. And I'm just going to keep the other antelope frozen for now. Um, buy sell oyster, of course. We're going to buy sell oyster and uh, every stoat that we can find. Take the level and then uh, avocado for next turn. I could also um, freeze this chocolate here. Probably is worth level 2-ing some of the antelopes because um, you know, we know we're going to have limited number of feints. It's going to be the same as if you're trying to do a, a secretary bird 5. You're going to have very few feints, so you want to maximize the amount of effectiveness that you get from each of them. Uh, that wasn't the greatest sentence of all time, but here you can actually see uh, it is the old version where the Pteranodon doubled the effect of the betta fish there. So buy, sell, stoat, we actually get oyster, which is the dream, and another oyster. Uh, I almost bought the lettuce there. I'm not sure what I was thinking uh, that I'd rolled. I guess maybe I thought it was uh, avocado. And we can use the pretzel because the antelope is a tier 4. And yeah, you can see here I'm thinking about whether or not I'd rather just play a big unit up front so that we don't end up in a similar situation to last turn where, um, you know, we activate crane or we activate pita bread or something like that. And uh, speak of the devil, we end up activating uh, pita bread on the guinea fowl at the front here, level three guinea fowl. Um, although their tomato there is actually going to activate the uh, the pita on the antelope at the back, but they're going to double the trumpets here with the vaquita. So it's thirty six, and we're actually going to be one trumpet short, <laughs> and we end up losing to that team, which was a little bit surprising. But I feel like with the level 2 Bird of Paradise, we're in such a good position. We just really need to find another antelope so that we, we're we all set for uh, being on 9 wins. And there it is. Just looking for uh, good buy cells now and potentially uh, pretzel as well. And I think here, I'm because I'm on 7, I'm just going to take the antelope and uh, not mess about too much. You could just keep running the buy sell slot for a while, but uh, I don't mind if uh, some of the buffs end up going onto the antelope. I think having it in the team already also means that we can just buy potato straight away, and then we can potentially tank uh, a bunch of tomato snipes. So grizzly bear, although it is only level one, uh, no doubt they're going to have uh, something summony inside the uh, inside the beluga here. Take your guesses now, what's it going to be? I think I would guess Wolf, since it's in fourth position, but it is in fact Slug. But the Grizzly only being level one means it's not going to do enough damage and the Antelope is going to win. So eight trophies now. We are only going to be able to activate the Bird of Paradise once because we didn't buy any uh, avocados. Uh, there they are, so we do potentially get the opportunity to activate them activate it more than once on uh, next turn. Actually, that's not quite right, is it? If we buy one avocado, we only have uh, 13 gold, so uh, we can't activate twice. And then we face this strange looking team. This person presumably is a Twitch streamer, but uh, I don't recognize the name. Uh, the double German Shepherd, but just not enough summons to take advantage of it. So yeah, give up on the uh, the avocado. Although I guess I could buy it just in case I, um, in case I uh, tie or lose. But next this turn we're gonna um, have one of the strong units up the front. So I think we're less likely at risk of uh, ending up in a unfortunate um, draw or loss situation. So double potato, so we're tanking practically a full team of tomatoes, and this one actually has two. But uh, yeah, the antelope's going to demolish their two big units. It's actually the same opponent, um, but running a completely different team. So uh, yeah, muskox just cannot generate enough stats to cope with the, the Bird of Paradise scaling. So finally ticked off the list. It's uh, been... <laughs> been a long time coming but there we go five antelopes
And here's some uh, bonus footage. These are much more recent. I think in the Discord, Flame had posted uh, a couple of Golden Pack wins and I just went back in and, and felt like I had to try and uh, match him. So uh, Osprey, not a particularly difficult one. This one's actually a little bit unusual in the fact that I think if I I think I did Osprey in the past using uh, Cockatoo, but this is actually um, Blue Ringed Octopus because the stats are all much more even. And uh, we face this team, which is very low statted for turn 15, but they do generate a huge amount of uh, stats for the Lizard at the back. However, you know, Lizard used to be able to summon more than two Lizard Tails, but not anymore, and so um, there's only so much it can do uh, to trigger the Secretary Bird, and we end up uh, winning there. And although I have done that one in the past, this next one I hadn't done before. So we've got five uh, slugs, and again, this is Bird of Paradise and not Cockatoo. Um, although I always talk about uh, the, the faint pets being easier because Cockatoo is available. And here, I think I probably make a mistake here at some point. I, I think, uh, or, or maybe I couldn't have triggered the Bird of Paradise again there. I didn't notice the exact uh, numbers, but we are gonna take inspiration from that team earlier on and play uh, four eggplants. Although they are in um, descending order of attack, so actually they're not going to push the front unit. They're going to move every other unit one space forward, and we end up pulling Cobra to the front. Feels kind of uh, unfair, but uh, I'll take it anyway. So there's five slugs. I can't remember who has completed that one already, but uh, it's definitely been done. And then here's a bunch of clips from the Discord. So here is another Golden Pack one. This is Wombat getting five lizards. I feel like with some of the abilities and stat lines on tier two, that some more of these should have been done by now. You know, things like um, uh, Doorhead Ant and uh, and Sea Turtle as well. And then here we go in uh, pack three with five Piranhas. Kind of a funny team where basically one huge unit and then the rest of them are all uh, low stats plus Pepper. And then we've also got uh, five Sabertooths, kind of surprising that one hasn't been done yet. I know I've posted a couple of uh, three and four Sabertooth uh, wins, but just could not find the last one. So well done Wombat for getting that one done. And then we've also got some from pack one. So these were the three remaining pets that no one had ever done a five in pack one. Of course here, this is versus a ghost. All three of these are in the, tur the 40 turns range. So endless draws into 50-50 shop and then uh, finding them all. I don't know if if some of these are probably doable earlier. I mean, whale, almost definitely not, but um, armadillo, I don't know. I think the, the thing is with the, the cat change, it's much harder to rapidly create those um, multiple huge units. Uh, so yeah, and uh, obviously no seal anymore either. And then this one is Vlitz getting five zebras. I don't know off the top of my head if this is customs. I think it may actually be uh, the weekly, possibly the weekly that uh, was uh, Sag's greed pack. Um, I'll have to check that. And then more recently, uh, a six of a kind dolphin in pack one. Although the stats look uh, pretty low, the double stake is actually going to do a lot of work and then there's a 1 HP breakpoint there. So good job on that one. And then the next couple of clips are kind of the culmination of the almost team effort in the Discord in terms of breaking customs with their endless draws. So here we have five level three sloths, which uh, it's, I mean, I thought the five level three uh, maxed out goldfish was uh, ridiculous, but uh, I believe the sloth was angled from uh, flame there. And then just a very, very short clip showing another five level three sloths. However, the initial sloth was found uh, naturally rather than by angling.